Found in a gel that when applied to your penis, induces an erection within 10 minutes without the use of any medication and with very minimal side effects. This is what Aroxin, a new topical gel for erectile dysfunction, claims to offer. In this video, I'm gonna review this gel and go through how effective it actually is, what are some of the side effects you might have to look out for, and I'm gonna go through a head-to-head -head study with Cialis and see which one of the two was actually the most effective for erectile dysfunction. So what is Aroxin? Well, it's a gel that's made of a few volatile substances. I'll list the ingredients here. None of these ingredients are actually considered a medicine, so this gel can actually be purchased over the counter. So how does it work? Well, when aroxin is applied to the tip of the penis, the volatile substances evaporate, and this causes a cooling and heating effect. This triggers a chemical known as nitric oxide to be released. Nitric oxide is a chemical that dilates arteries or blood vessels that bring blood flow to the penis. When you bring blood flow to the penis, you get an erection. So how do you use it? Well, it's quite simple. All you need to do is use a pea-sized amount of gel, rub it on the glands of the penis, which is the head of the penis, for 15 seconds. This can be done by you or your partner, and you should expect an erection within 10 minutes. Sexual stimulation is still necessary for this to work. So how effective is it actually in treating erectile dysfunction? Well, there's two studies that give us information about this. The first is eroxin by itself, and the second actually compared eroxin to Tadalafil, otherwise known as Cialis. The first study followed 250 men over 12 weeks, and they used three key outcome measures. The first of which was a standardized questionnaire for erectile dysfunction, known as the IIEF-EF. The second question was, were you able to insert your penis? And the third question were, were you able to maintain an erection long enough for sexual intercourse? After the 12 weeks, 63% of men noticed a minimal clinically important difference in this questionnaire, the IIEF-EF, it's previously determined that in this questionnaire, to have a clinical difference, you need to improve by a score of four or more on this questionnaire. So 63% of men had an improvement in the score of four or more. For the question, were you able to insert your penis? 60% of men before using Aroxin were able to insert their penis. Well, after using Aroxin for 12 weeks, this improved to 85%. And for the last question, did you have an erection that lasted long enough for intercourse? Before the Aroxin, 20% of men said yes to this question, while after using the Aroxin for 12 weeks, this number improved to 59% of men saying yes to this question. Now these results might sound good, but there are two key weaknesses with these results. The first of which is that the Aroxin was not compared to a placebo. It has been shown from various studies, particularly those for erectile dysfunction, that treatments in this area can have quite a profound placebo effect. Therefore, it's important to compare all treatments for erectile dysfunction to a placebo. This means that the results in this study, it's difficult to know whether most of the effect has come from placebo or from the actual chemicals in eroxin itself. The second weakness is that 250 men is a relatively low number of participants. Larger studies with larger number of people will help us confirm the findings of this study. This leads us into the second study, which might provide a little bit more information as it directly compares eroxin to a well-known medication for erectile dysfunction, Tadalafil, otherwise known as Cialis. In this study, 50 men were given eroxin for erectile dysfunction and 50 men were given Tadalafil for erectile dysfunction. And again, they were evaluated on that same questionnaire from the last study, the IIEF-EF. After 24 weeks, 61% of men that used eroxin showed a minimal clinically important difference in the IIEF-EF questionnaire, while 87% of those that used Tadalafil showed a minimal clinically important difference. These results suggest that Tadalafil is more effective than Aroxin for erectile dysfunction. However, again, the numbers of this study were small. Larger numbers would be required to confirm this finding. So what are the side effects? Well, Aroxin actually has very few side effects. Across the two studies, 3-4% of men experienced headaches, 0-4% of men experienced nausea, 1-2% of men experienced local side effects, and less than 1% of females experienced local side effects. So that's my summary of Aroxin. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the medication Tadalafil, otherwise known as Cialis, which was the medication that Aroxin was compared to in that second study, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next video.